These are the setup worksheets, also known as the house crew sheets. These are what tells house crew everything they need to know about what's going on in the building and how to set the rooms correctly. Um, the setup sheets are laid out by time. They are organized by when a reservation starts. House crew typically starts by the event start time, which is the second number here. The third number is the event end, and the fourth time is the reservation end. Um, this tells what room or area the setup needs to be done in. After that, it is the style of the room, so the setup. And in the parentheses is the number that the setup is for. Um, to mark the sheets, you go through. Um, for areas that you don't necessarily have to check on every shift, we put a line. And for rooms that you need to make sure and set or check, put a circle. After you've finished a setup, go ahead and put a slash through the circle on the setup sheets to mark that it's finished and we initial next to it so that we know who did the setup. Uh, whenever you've finished all of the uh, setups needed for your shift, go back to the lead sheet and initial next to your assignment for the shift. After marking up the sheets, you can start looking at what needs to be done on a shift. Um, if this was a shift, these two rooms would need to be set from this page. Um, the first thing we would do would be to go to the Trailer Parliamentary Room, or Room 313. Uh, Parley is a fixed setup, which means that the tables and chairs don't actually change. They are always set the same way. Um, but the equipment that is listed here would need to be added. So we would go through and put a computer cart into Parley and then take the screen down in Parley. After that, we would go to the Grand Ballroom, which always needs to be set. Uh, to get the correct number of tables, you would do 175 divided by 8 which would give you about 28 or 21.8 um, so we would round up and make sure and set 22 tables so everyone would have a seat. Um, after setting the rounds and the chairs you would go to the extra equipment listed down here. This room would need 15 catering tables and it tells us exactly where they want them. Um, they want two sets of three in the west alcove which means they would want two lines of three tables each set in the buffet area in Ballroom West. Um, after that they would want carving stations, so that's an extra table at the end of each of the buffet lines. Um, they want two sets of two in the alcoves in the ballroom, so that would be two areas with two tables each. And then they wanted three six-foots along the middle of the room.